Hey guys, it's Nathan with Jones the Journey. Uh, thanks for joining us this week for our tech tip and repair uh, this week. And this week it is an issue with our ladder to the roof. Now what has happened over a period of time is I've had a, uh, uh, my ladder that I carry with us on the back of this and that has caused the ladder itself to start to work away from the wall. So we need to repair that. So let me show you the ladder I've been carrying and the, the problem it has caused and uh, then I will show you what we're going to do to repair it and uh, to brace it up so it doesn't happen again. So this is the ladder I normally carry on my ladder. Uh, I like it because it's an A-frame ladder. It's a little giant with a leveler on it. The feet level so if you're sitting on unlevel ground you can lower one leg down a little bit more. Plus it also extends. The issue is it's a little bit on the heavy side. It's about 65 pounds or so. And with the roads being as rough as they are nowadays, um, and even though I've had it snug, secure on the back of the ladder here on the get back of the camper, that jarring has caused the screws to start to pull away from the wall. Let me show you that. So as you can see here, the screws are starting to pull away a little bit. Um, and it's done that all the way up to the top of the ladder. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've got some larger screws just a little bit longer and a little bit wider and I'm going to put take these off uh, clean it all up take the caulk off and so that way it's all clean and I can put in put new caulk around it and uh, then put the new screws in tighten it up and then I'm going to carry that ladder in a different spot on the back of my rig and I will probably carry uh, my extra gray tank uh, on the back of the ladder but this is something you need to be aware of and need to be checking this is why you need to check your rig uh, at least every time you take off uh, once a day after every travel or uh, before you take off in the morning and get onto it but uh, you never know and things can happen as you're going down the road so you want to make sure that you're safe and that your rig is safe and that everything is in perfect working order. So we're gonna work on that today. First project is going to be remove the bolts and to clean up the caulk, and then uh, we're going to put new caulk on it and install new bolts. All right, as you can see, I've got these two cleaned up and I've got the ladder braces all cleaned up. So we are, those are ready. Now I just have two more to do and then we'll be ready to put them back on and get it all braced up. As you can see, I've got all the supports off and the bolts out. We've got all the old caulk, caulk cleaned off. And now the next step is I'm going to put a brace on the bottom on the bumper uh, that will meet the bottom of the ladder so the ladder doesn't have any flex in it. And what I've taken is I had some uh, two by eights and uh, I've cut them to length that I need and I've pre-drilled them. I've picked up some U-bolts. I'm gonna put the U-bolt through, bolt this to the bumper um, and that way the ladder cannot 
move down up or down any and then I'm going to uh, replace the bolts and recock everything and everything will be should be good so first we'll do that and I'll show you the completed when it's done all right as you can see I've got them on the bumper I've got the U-bolt in. I don't have it fastened up yet. I just want to make sure everything's going to fit right before I do that. As you can see, uh, where the ladder comes down, what's going to happen, and then why I put this in first is because I know pr previously I measured it out that that's exactly the width I need to get the ladder to meet where it's supposed to be on the rungs and the supports. And I can lift the ladder up. The ladder's going to rest on that just like that. With those boards under there, that will keep the ladder from having any flex going down and it'll support it. And that way, uh, as I'm climbing up it or if anything's on it, uh, it won't be able to wiggle down and wiggle those bolts that hold it into place out of place. So they are bolted on. Now, as you can see, I had to make a little bit of a modification into my uh, 2x8. I had to cut a bit of a groove in it because my bolts we're just a snidge bit too short to be able to get into, uh, get the nut onto it. So uh, I, I grooved it so that the uh, clamp would slide, uh, fit down into the wood a little bit. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'll take a little bit of spray paint and spray that with the black spray paint again to make sure that it seals it up and it doesn't get any water in it. So it preserves it a little bit better. But now I am ready to put the ladder back together. And then what I'm going to do is, the first thing I'm going to do is run a dab of caulk inside each of the holes that are already pre, already there, each of these holes. And then I'm going to run a line of caulk around that, uh, around the ring here, uh, where the holes are. That way it seals up when I put the bolts in. All right, and we will show you that when it's all done. All right, we are all done. As you can see, I think it turned out pretty good. I'll give you a scan of it here in just a second. Uh, I wanted to mention two things. One is always make sure you're checking stuff every time you go out. Um, double check your tires, double check uh, your ladder, all that kind of stuff, because things work loose and, and all that. Um, and then just be careful in doing it that you're sealing up the old holes uh, you put enough caulk on it to seal it up so you don't have any issues with that. The other thing I wanted to mention to you, and this isn't a paid political or a paid announcement or anything like that, but I found this. It is called Caulk Saver. And what it is, it is a uh, sort of a screw that goes down into your caulk uh, so that your caulk doesn't harden up on you. And all you do is you just push it in here, push it in the tip. Just like that, and then screw it in there until it tightens up to the point of it's not going to go in any further. And you're all set. And that keeps it good and soft. I've used these for the past six or eight months, and I really love them. Uh, I used to have the ones that it was just a little cap you would put on top of it. Did not work for anything else, uh, but I found these have worked good. And you get them at Home Depot. Uh, again, they're called Kulk Savers. Okay, they're not expensive, but uh, hopefully that will help you out. Uh, what we've done here, give you, let us know if it did. Uh, make sure, give us a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe so you get more of our videos. All right. Uh, aside from that, I'll give you one last look at everything that's done here, and then we'll catch you next time on the road. Remember, when you wander or as you journey, journey with the purpose of sharing the love of God with others. Thanks for joining us.